Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. That is what happens when you get distracted by characters. <sighs> so, can we get up? Can we get up? Let's just see if we can go back. Right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> quiet. I didn't jump. Shush. Okay, I'm actually starting in my hands. This is actually good. I'm actually getting frightened by a game. I am actually loving this right now. What? You locked the door? Aw, oh, man. You're gonna have to go buy a body. Uh, uh, I don't like walking past bodies. It means they're dead. Or maybe still alive and will twitch when I walk by them. I don't like that. It's rude. <sighs> God dang it. I'm actually getting frightened by a game for once, and I haven't had this happen in years. Which actually makes me pretty happy. But I also blame the fact that I am actually a happier person now, so I'm actually more in touch with my emotions. Okay. Um... What? What the... The hell? Um... Oh, that guy's gonna twitch. I saw that from the trailer. Yep, wait for it. There it is. They killed us. The guy out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors. Go to security and control. <laughs> Ugh, painful. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Okay, I will admit the immersion is good in this game. Oh, hello! I shall call you Baldy, Beardy, Glary, Mouthy, Mouthy Jr., Harry, Radio, no, that's a wall, um, Stumpy, Starry, and the rest of you can just be... Bean. Huh, man. Gotta reload a battery. That's a weird way to reload a battery. I'm not reloading my guns, I'm reloading my battery. Okay, do I see anyone down there? Is that a hostage or a dead body? Probably a dead body. You know, you're gonna probably jump again, just for warning you. I appreciate your vote of confidence. You're welcome. Oh, no, 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 no! Why am I have to... Why do you have to be used to... Hold on. <coughs> you know, why do you have to be used to... Your Nintendo controls? Because I grew up with Nintendo, I am always used to where the X is where Y is and where B is where A is. I'm used to the Switch. That's why this is ticking me off a little bit. Is because Microsoft, I guess, couldn't copy them because it would be a patent issue. Don't you love copyrights? Only when they work in the advantage of the benefits of everyone. Um, just let's see what's happening in the chat. Ah, uh, Foxy, Moonlight, stop it. Moonlight is a bit of a friend. So you can chill, it's okay. Yeah, I'll just wait a, guys, wait a moment for you guys since Twitch likes to lag. Yeah, you guys, don't try and fight too much, or I'm going to have to get myself or moderator in there, and we don't have to put one of... We don't really want to pull away from the game now, do we? I will respect that you are. 
fans and doing your own thing. But don't get too crazy. Be respectful. That's all I ask. Was that deep voice really necessary? I love to act. Quiet. No, I won't. Oh, there we go. Battery, finally. It's an arm and the toilet. That's not how you wipe your butt. You can't give it to another hand in order to wipe your butt. Hmm. Oh, sorry, hold on. I go. Oh my guys, I think I woke to my boyfriend. Woke up my boyfriend. You okay? Did you hear me scream? Oh, what did you kind of wake yourself up? Uh, the yelp woke me up, but... Sorry. I wasn't expecting a dead body behind the door. <laughs> oh, well, it's pretty good. I just get really pissed off at a later point. Oh, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure, but this stuff, having a controller like this definitely helps. So, yeah, you just kind of heard Jitterbug in the background, who I kind of accidentally woke up with my scream earlier. He's back, on, but he's on the other side of the table, where the other computer is, where his computer is. Anyways, back to the game. Well, actually, now I can kind of appreciate that little ring, a shing, because it actually gives you a bit of a feeling of horror now. Little faith. Oh, hello. No! Oh, man. Now I'm gonna have to run. It's left bumper, right? And who are you then? Oh, great. I'm guessing that's a scientist gone mad. You know, I've dealt with a lot of those. I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Great. I guess I have to do this on purpose because the Father says so. Don't you love characters that force you to stay after you were told to get out? Did I just know? I think I just noticed he doesn't really quite have that one button. A uh, button. Excuse me. Bone that juts out in a thumb. It's usually common in males. Update in your reports. Objective: Escape the asylum. Access security control to unlock the main doors. I'm pretty sure that's going to take the length of the game. You know, you kind of spoiled it. No, I didn't. The icon did. No, just a single objective, which will probably deviate as I go on. Do I get any kind of report whatsoever in here? I mean, doesn't this kind of qualify as something? Hey, I'm inside. Oh, okay, I guess it does kind of count. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Great. Excuse me, that was dinner again. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. <gasps> Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? Well, it kind of worked for Batman Arkham Asylum, didn't it? There, <laughs> there's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Yeah, don't you love plot points that kind of keep you entangled? Hmm. Well, they work for the immersion and actually make some sense on occasion, even though it actually is a huge pain in the butt because it forces you to actually stay in this and actually face this when in reality you probably shouldn't have broken and entered in the first place. I'm just warning you about all the stereotypical trope lines or scenarios about how things always tend to be very cheesy on purpose. Well, that's putting it obviously. You're welcome. I'm... You are a horrible peanut gallery. No, just one who likes to mess with you because you're gonna have some fun. 
Thanks. The Murkoff Corp. United States Office Warrant for Seizure Case Number 29475-8104. Oh, great. Oh, never mind. I'm kind of... I wouldn't have counted this as an early number given how many cases they probably get. In the matter of the seizure of... Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric System. <gasps> Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road, 112. Affidavit having... <clears throat> excuse me, affidavits having been made before the Board of Directors by Murkoff Hardline Security MHS, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of a psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We were, we are satisfied that the affidavits and the testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action to the part of MHS and grounds for the ish ins uh, issuance of this warrant. <coughs> Excuse me, again, that's the code. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all faculties, or safe facilities, and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you, and any surviving relatives, surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions, regardless of responsibility. That's a waste of a page to only put one word there. It's kind of what happens when they run out of actual space for the scripting, despite having the graphics look the way they do. Is he gonna jump? Probably not. He should. No, he shouldn't. If he did, he'd probably attack me. He's... Oh. Hello. Someone spoke, but I don't know who. Wheelchair! Oh, this is going to be a ride scene, isn't it? Someone... Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Is that someone back... Oh, it is. Let's see who it is. Oh, he's still alive. He's going to probably get up. Oh, no. You know, he's probably going to be an attacker. Probably. So... Oh, there's a doorknob there. Should I go and investigate? Okay, I'm getting used to it. So, X is in that spot, Y is in that spot, B is in that spot, A is in that spot. Floor... This is floor one! Oh! Shut up! Dang it, Foxy. You are trolling. Stop it. T ten year old. <sighs> I'll do more cheese eating later. Floor one, security room, electric room, the library is upstairs, recreation hall, cafeteria, and chapel are also upstairs. I'm guessing that's where the father is. So, your next step is to go over there and try not to get killed. You got scared. Actually, technically, you did. I hate contradicting myself. Oh! I wonder if it would be a good idea to go over into this watered area where there appears to be electrical boxes. No, I am not going to electrocute myself. Thank you. So let's go over here. Oh god. Which room, which bathroom is this? Oh. You know, there are products for that. Um what? Witness. Jeez, man. Get some preparation H. No batteries. No batteries. I need batteries. Come on, give me some batteries. Ew. Someone left the head and arm in the toilet again. Gross. Witness. 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 Wit. <laughs> Sorry, I want to do that. <laughs> 
Um, body part, body part, body, body, body part. Mm, body part. Da dum 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 dum. Bless the cutie. Jitterbug sneezed, that cute little sneeze. Do you have any batteries? No, you don't. Do you have any batteries in your somehow magically exhumed organs? Oh, you do. Thank you. I'm guessing I have to use this like a ladder. Ah, oh, man. Get up. Um... No. So, what does the light go out next? That's not until the next part. You're just getting lulled in through light. And slowly. 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 And you're good. So that one's still open, sort of. <laughs> Careful with the language. There's nothing wrong with changelings. Changelings. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm responding to the chat for those of you who are watching on YouTube. Um, a changeling is like a. Oh, jeez, I totally forgot the actual thing I was trying to compare it to. Basically, they can turn into any other pony in the MLP universe. But a changeling on basic and original lore is um, someone who usually gets in with other p human families and looks like another kid. But they get whatever they need to out of the family and make more changelings. And it's usually because some changeling snuck that changeling child in with another. Guys, don't try and get to roleplay E in the chat, okay? Please keep it light. If you do, if you do a roleplay, keep it light, okay? Okay. This door needs a key card. I hate key cards. So the guy who was crazy ran into A125. He's not crazy, he's insane. Same difference. Another phone out the hook, I'm sure. Mm hmm. Document. From Helen Grant, blah blah email. Murkoff Corp. Lu. 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 Subject Project Wall Rider on Satin Fiction. Dear Sirs. Oh, sorry, this is from Helen. Dear Sirs, the full report pending, no immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project War Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation. If evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project War Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be on further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. And I'm willing to bet that's some machine turning the little inmates into some kind of beasts of hell because that totally makes human rights sense. But what am I complaining about? This is normal in these kind of games. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven its assistance sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Grant. Granat. Murkoff Legal Mitigation Department. You are one heck of a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the chat's having fun. Um, which... Okay, so that's his back. You have a very small butt, dude. I think your butt's actually concave. Dude, don't have an implosive butt. Does no one hang up a phone in this place? No, that defeats the immersion of chaos. <coughs> <coughs> when they're trying to escape. Oh, I get authorities, you know. 
Oh, man. Ew. This is nice and creepy. So, is it locked? Yep, it is. Why should we have to pay for this? Why do we have to die? Waka will kill us just for being sick. Watch those people. We didn't choose this. Ah, uh, true, but that kind of goes along with the script. So just follow the script, and you'll probably be back in the next game. What? I just wanted in the same room. You talk. Doctor, shut up. No. Yes. No. Yes. Hmm. You know, that whole rattling animation kind of reminds me of Luigi's Mansion, how it was always like, okay, rattle, rattle, it's kind of locked. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> it's okay, Doctor. It's okay. It was just a TV. You know, like, Sound Hill. This is actually creepier than I expected. I love it! You are very... Masochistic. Um, only if it comes to horror. 